What's going on guys? Engineer Giganato Gaming here and welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we built our little our little bob shack. I mean, it's not really a bob shack. We got a little extra room for our for our bed and whatever. We also got this bulb dog which I'm going to go ahead and name real quick. I'm going to name you Pugsley. You can be Pugsley. Pugsley the bulb dog. All right. We also got a Parasaur and a Carno here. The Carno's just looking over the fire, watching over everything. Alright, we're probably going to be starving to death, so let's start eating the food. Right, we got the Parasaur, which we're probably going to name something. We already named Paris. We already got, like, Ducky or whatever. Let's name you something else. Deluxe. You know, kind of like Deluxe. Deluxe. Yeah, that could work. That could work. And then the Carno, you could be Toro for right now. Toro the Carno. Alright, so we've named our Parasaur, we've named our Carno, and we've named our Bulb Dog, Pugsley. So in today's episode, I'm thinking about maybe getting some metal, some metal tools. We already got the hatchet, we just need a pick so we can gather more metal. Possibly a pike, and we're just going to explore the map, just looking for creatures to tame. So what I'm going to do, maybe a raptor or something, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ping where we are on the map because I'm notorious for getting lost. Alright, home. There we go. We'll always have this pinged so at least we know where to go. Alright. So yeah, we're going to make some more arrows. I'm going to up the gamma so I can see a little bit. We're going to make some more arrows and then we're going to go ahead and try to tame something. We got two bullas. Maybe we could tame like a raptor or something. I don't know. All right, we should have... Do we have any spoiled meat on the Carno? We've got 19. All right. Let me just take some of that organic polymer, put that away. So if like the Carno dies or something, then we can easily like have the polymer in storage and whatever. All right, let's store this over to here. I don't think we need any of this right now. So let's get that out of the way. We also need to make some more stone arrows. So we're going to need flint, thatch, and fiber. I don't have a good rock gatherer at the moment. So we're going to have to settle with this. We've got 17 trank arrows, which is not bad. We could have more, though. And a moss chops would be good for fiber as well, I just realized. I don't know if we'll be able to find one, but whatever. So yeah, I'm thinking about going after maybe a raptor today. I know we've got the carno, but... We need something we can ride on the back of, shoot off the back of, and whatever. Yeah. Alright, we got four more meat. That's nine. We just need a bunch more nar narco berries. Alright, we've got the flint. We got 45 flint here. That's convenient. We've got 88 all together. We just need some thatch and some fiber so we can make some arrows and whatever. Alright, let's save some of that for fiber. Let's get all the narco berries in the world. We got 150. Better than nothing. Alright, Toro, you doing good? That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and put this in here. Make a bunch more narcotic. We can make 29 of that. We got some levels. One level, even. Let's go up in... Wait a little? Yeah, let's go up and wait. That is a beautiful waterfall, I must admit. Oh god, I forgot about the mushroom, I forgot about the mushroom. Yeah, we hallucinated a little, which is fine. You know, we just need to stay away from that mushroom, that's all. Alright, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, getting some fiber. Alright, don't steal the gems from the, from the whirl rats. I mean, that's level 15. Maybe just one won't hurt. Oh, we got a lot of gems from that, actually. Uh, let's kill this level 15. Hopefully the 135 doesn't come after us. Alright, I think that's the 135 over there. We should be good. Alright, let's harvest you for hide and whatever. That's one less roll rat we gotta worry about anyway. Which is awesome. We've got more than enough thatch. We've got a bunch of wood as well, which is good. We can start cooking up more meat. What level is this Parasaur? That's a 15. 
We have a level 5. What level are you? 45, alright. We've got a 115 bulb dog, which is better than nothing, but saying that it doesn't do much. I think we are in the green area. A uh, game, 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 thank you. Yeah. I don't know if we're in prime territory for Yi Ling or not, but I don't want to take any chances with that. I have looked up how to tame them, and apparently you basically gotta... You gotta let them zoom around and shoot you for a little bit until you get to, like, 40 feathers or whatever. And then they'll do a dive, a dash and whatever. And then once that dash is done, you gotta throw in plant species Z fruit at it. Those are, like, you know, the shocking grenades. The ones that give you, like, a shock, like... You know that noise you hear whenever, whenever, like, the military, like, sends, like, a shock grenade at the enemy? Yeah. Something like that. And while it's stunned, you have to feed it biotoxin. You can feed it narcotic, but biotoxin will be more efficient. And then you just keep doing that until it's knocked out. And then you basically feed it whatever you feed a carnivore. So we can make a bunch of arrows. And then hopefully we'll be able to tame whatever. I'm going to take a stack of meat just in case we run into a raptor. And then take a stack of wood. Oh yeah, we got like 20 gems. I forgot about that. I'll take like 60 of that wood. And then we'll put it in the, the fire. Cook up some more of that meat. Now let's put the gems away because they're pretty heavy. Oh, and also, we need to get some dino balls at some point. We got one crystal anyway. I feel like we do need a bit more, so we can make that. Alright. I kind of want to bring you, but at the same time, I don't want you to die. So, Pugsley, you stay here for now. You stay here. The Parasaur and I have got some things to do. Alright, we should have more than enough. We'll have ten... Stone arrows left over. We'll run out of stone arrows before we run out of narcotic. So we'll have some leftover narcotic. We should be good to go. Maybe we'll tame a trike or something like that. I don't know. Alright, let's head on on a little adventure. See what we can find. I've got arrows. I've got two bolas. So if we run into a raptor, we can capture one with it. We got what appears to be a drop of some sort. We got some more glow bugs and whatever. Don't berry spawn an aberration. I think they spawn in the blue area. I do believe. I'd like to get a baryonyx at some point. There's another bulb dog. Oh, wow. There's a roll rat right there. What level are you? 60? Alright, what's over there? What's that parasol running from? Oh, there's a Yi Ling over there. There's one of those new things over there. Yeah, there it is. That blue thing right there. What level are you? That's a 15. We could take a 15 with no problem. Probably won't be able to take on a high level, but maybe a 15, definitely. What's that in the water? Is that just a fish? I think that's just ripples in the water. Alright. Yeah, we're probably in prime territory for Yi Ling. That's the roll rat, that's a stego. We could use some other form of protection. Because the carno won't be, like, effective forever. Is there like a blue drop inside that waterfall? Oh yeah, we got piranhas. You know what, let's just, yeah, piranha, oh my god, there's so many piranhas in the water. Yep, out of the question. The one good thing about Scorched Earth, piranhas don't spawn. In this one, piranhas do. We do have that Yi Ling we gotta worry about. I mean, it is only a level 15, and as long as we have home pinged, we should be good. Oh, there's a Ravager right there. Let's hide behind this rock. Maybe the Ravager won't spot us. I want to get a quick, cheeky level on that one. That's a five. Of course, it's a five. It's probably It probably does have friends nearby. Is there another one there? I, I do see another one over there. I think we could take on a single Ravager. Like, a level five. Especially a level five Ravager. We could take that on. Hey, Ravager. Where are you, buddy? 
I'm charging forward. Charge! No, oh, rock, get out the way. Charge! Alright, we got him. We got him. Make sure his friends aren't coming before we harvest. Oh yeah, these guys drop pelt as well. Oh, that's interesting. Alright. If we want a Ravager, we obviously want something a little bit higher level. Is that a Sarko? That's a Sarko. Level 40. Hmm. I don't know what that's doing so far from the water. There's another Ravager down there. That's a 10. We could take on a 10 with no problem. We were able to take on a 5 with no problem. It's only 5 levels higher. Oh, this guy has a friend. Doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a friend. What level's his friend? 45. Oh, yeah, there's three of them. I don't think I could take three of them. Let's just run. Alright. Let's just get out of here. I don't think I could take three of them on. Oh, we got a crab here. That's a level 5. Even a level 5 has 14,000 damage. Or 14,000 health. Or 1,400 health, even. It's almost dead. It's almost dead. That Sarko is going to kill it. There's something else. Yeah, that's that's a 145 Sarko. We could... 26 points in the health. We could use that as like a, a protection creature. Something that could protect us, maybe. I'm pretty sure you can craft a Sarko saddle by hand. Not the Karno, but definitely a Sarko. Yeah, we can craft it by hand. If we have 20 cementing paste, 75 fiber. With the amount of chitin we have, cementing paste is not going to be a problem. You know what? That's, that won't be a problem. If we tame this Sarko, that could be game-changing. Alright, let's hide. Which one to use the 145 Sarko? That's a 25. Alright, so you must be the 145. Let's go ahead and kill this 25 real quick. Hey, Mr. 25 Sarko. Alright. Now all that's left is the 145. Oh, there's a couple of raptors here. We could tame a raptor. Got a level 10 and a level 50. And there's a ravager down there as well. I don't think I want to take any chances with that. Yeah, we need a smithy to craft the Carno saddle, which we don't have at the moment. Unless we find a Carno saddle in like a drop or something. All right, the raptors, there is a baby raptor in there too. All right, there you are, little one. Oh, we're hallucinating, great, wonderful. Of course it's the level 10 that has a baby. How come it doesn't affect the Parasaur? You'd think that would. Oh, we got some biotoxin. No idea where we got that from, but we have biotoxin anyway. Hello, Mr. Sarko. How you doing today? Do you want to be my friend? Alright, Parasaur, keep tanking him. As long as he doesn't dismount us, we should be fine. We got 50 Trank Arrows. We should be able to do this. We got some Prime from killing that baby Dodo. Of course, that raptor's coming. A uh, game. 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 Stop freezing. Thank you. Alright, I'm stuck on the Sarko. I'm gonna take out this raptor real quick. Alright, he's fully healed from killing that or harvesting that raptor, which is good. Alright, keep tanking him, Deluxe. Keep tanking him. We could try to kill those Spinos. And down goes the Sarko. Awesome. There's a Carcanos there as well. A baby bulb dog. That'll drop prime. Let's deal with this Spino real quick. Are you the 40 or are you the 15? You're the 40. I'm sure we can take you on. Alright, could you stop moving? Stop getting behind me. Get in front of me. Fight me like a man. Or a Spino in this case. Alright, he's almost dead. He's dead. He's dead. Awesome. All right, Mr. Parasaur, you stay there while I put the Prime in his inventory. There we go. All right, that Spino did a number on us. 
We've got a raptor behind there. Hey, raptor. That's right. You didn't see that coming, did you? Aha! Let's harvest the Spino for resources and whatever. Yeah, we can get the hide that we need for the Sarko saddle. So now that should make gathering hide a lot easier. We'll have something strong in our arsenal. It's a 145. All right. Let's go check on that Carno or Carno. Sarko. And then we'll tame it up and then we'll see what it's all about. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Sarko has been tamed. Let's put the saddle on you right away. And then you can follow Deluxe home. And then we'll test this guy out. See how good he is. Can we check his stats? From here. 39 points into health. That's not bad. 47 points into melee is really good. 44 into food. And uh, 50 into weight. 36 into stamina. So it's got really good melee, actually. Which is not bad at all. Alright, let's head back home. Alright, Mr. Sarko. Let's test you out. We'll have a lot of protection as well, so... We should be able to take on whatever's over here now. Ah, uh, game. Game. Thank you. So, we got a crocodile for our second episode. That's pretty cool, actually. We're actually pretty fast. A lot faster than the Parasaur, I must admit. Alright, let's see how much damage we do against a uh, Parasaur. 491. We do attack very slow, though. That's the only problem. I kind of like my creatures attacking really quick. There's another Sarko there. We'll level you 40. We got a 145 Sarko. Are you seriously after me, Mr. Stego? You don't want the smoke. You don't want the smoke. Yeah, see, I told you you didn't want the smoke. All right, we've got 27 levels. Let's go up to 20,000 health. I'd feel comfortable with that. Maybe 1,000 weight so we can carry a lot. The stamina's fine, and then we'll just put the rest into melee. I want this guy to be an absolute unit. All right. There's... That is a lot of raptors. There's a 110 over there. There's a 45, a 10. Hmm. Can we take on a... I don't feel confident with raptors. I don't feel confident. We still gotta work... That is a basilisk. Wait, can we kill that? If it's a low level... 55? That's a beautiful basilisk. You know, I'll help. I'll help. 1800 damage. That's way better. Alright, we did it. We killed a Basilisk. Awesome. And we got seven more levels from that. Let's go all melee. So this guy will definitely be a game changer. Wait. Can I shoot off the back of you? I can shoot off the back of you. That is awesome. This is definitely a game changer. We could just use the Sarko from now on. He's actually pretty fast on land, not gonna lie. But you're probably even faster in the water. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, you're very fast in the water. Piranhas won't even be able to catch us. Should I take on a Karkonos? What level are you? That's a 125. Probably not. I probably can't take on a 125. I can take a Spino on it. One shot a Spino. Okay. All right. We got 16 more levels. Let's go up maybe 8 points into melee and then 8 more points into health. That's what we'll do. Got a raptor over here. That's a 45. 10,000. I'm guessing that's with a, a headshot. We got a 45 Karkonos, which is about to die. That's a 20 Spino. Yeah, there's just Spinos and crabs everywhere. We're, we're pretty strong. We got two more levels. Let's go up into more melee. Yeah, we are very powerful. Wait, what's this? Isn't this where you make those congealed gas balls? And 
batteries and whatever. Oh, this is where you make element. Okay, we just need blue gems, charged batteries, congealed gas ball, element ore, green gem, power on, powered on station, and red gem. Okay, the gems aren't really too much of a problem. What was this raptor? 85? Not the greatest level. That's a 50. Yeah, the only problem with the Sarko is that we attack very slowly. That is the only problem, but you know what? It's pretty strong. We can shoot off the back of it, and we can tank creatures with it, so we're good to go. Alright, that 125 Karkonos is slowly making its way back to base. So, I'll tell you what. Let me just, uh... I guess heal up a little bit. No, it's not too close, actually. We should be fine. All right, Mr. Sarko, we can park you, like, over here or something. All right, today was a good day. We managed to tame a Sarko. It's, uh... I mean, it doesn't attack the fastest, but it's very strong. And we can shoot off the back of it, which means we can replace the Parasaur. Which is good. Always good. We always want something we can ride and shoot off the back of. Alright, but yeah, and with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.